friends, Miss Cassie here with Solon Public Library's Digital Story Time. This month we're talking all about different winter holidays, and this week we're going to talk about Christmas. But first, we need to sing our welcome song, and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast, and put them on our knees. All right. Here we go. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. All right, what do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. Stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. All right, what do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. Okay, for our last verse, we're going to be as quiet as we can, and we're going to whisper, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper, hooray. For our theme song this week, we are going to spread Christmas cheer. We're going to do some clapping, some jumping, some bending, some twirling, and some sitting. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Spread Christmas cheer. Let's all do a little jumping. Let's all do a little jumping. Let's all do a little jumping and spread Christmas cheer. Let's all do a little bending. Let's all do a little bending. Let's all do a little bending and spread Christmas cheer. Let's all do a little twirling, let's all do a little twirling, let's all do a little twirling and spread Christmas cheer. Let's all do a little sitting, let's all do a little sitting, let's all do a little sitting and spread Christmas cheer. Yay! Great job, friends. Our first Christmas book today is called Llama Llama Holiday Drama. It's written and illustrated by Anna Dudney and is part of the very well-known Llama Llama series. <laughs> Let's see how things go for our little llama this Christmas. Llama Llama Holidays, Jingle Music, Lights Ablaze. Oh, look, what do you see in that window? There's a snowman and a Santa Claus. And do you remember what that thing with the candles is called? That's right, it's a menorah. We learned about that last week. Sparkly candles, yummy bread, dress up clothes in green and red. Green and red, those are Christmas colors. How long till that special date? Llama Llama has to wait. Ugh. Waiting can be hard, can't it? Llama Llama holidays, ads and signs and store displays, fluffy snow and bunny elves, goodies piled high on shelves. Just how many days to go? 
Llama Llama wants to know. Sometimes it can help when you're waiting for something if you know how long you have to wait, right? Time to buy and search and shop. Mama carries. Llama drops. Oh, look, our little llama's very tired. Buy a friend a rubber duck, pirate ship, or tractor truck. Wooden blocks or building set? What will Llama Llama get? Hmm, what do you think Llama Llama should get for his friend? I think that pirate ship looks fun. Llama Llama holidays, hustle, bustle, cooking craze, measure sugar, roll the dough, 10 more batches left to go more batches. That's a lot of cookies. How many more days again? The special day is coming when? Oh, Llama is having a hard time being patient. Take the cookies out to cool. Frost a great big batch for school. Add some sprinkles. Almost done. Teacher gets a fancy one. No more cookies left to bake. Llama, llama, tummy ache. Why do you think llama, llama has a tummy ache? Do you think he ate too many cookies? I think so too. School has dreidels, songs, and bells. Big red ribbons, woodsy smells. Draw a snowman. Make a star, decorate a candle jar. Are there many days to go? Llama time is going slow. Oh, poor llama. Mama needs a present too. Get some sparkles, sticks, and glue. Roll it up and wrap it how? Llama wants to give it now. Oh, so Llama's practicing patience for when he gets his presents, but also patience for when he gives his presents. He wants it to be a surprise for Mama. Llama Llama holidays, unpack stockings, unwrap trays, shiny silver, fancy plates. Llama Llama waits, waits, waits. Cut out snowflakes, take them up, pour some eggnog in a cup. Oops, it's yucky on the floor. <sighs> llama Llama, wait some more. Stringing lights is not much fun. How come Mama isn't done? Is the big day coming soon? Llama Llama starts to swoon. All this waiting for one day? Time for presents right away! Too much music, too much fluff, too much making, too much stuff. Too much everything for Llama! Llama Llama Holodrama! Oh, look at our poor little Llama. Is he just feeling so frustrated and so impatient? And just so tired, maybe, of being told to wait? Yeah, have you ever felt like that before? I know I have. Let's take a deep breath together. Ready? Come and listen, little llama. Have a cuddle with your mama. Sometimes we should take a rest and hold the ones we love the best. Wishing, waiting, wanting things, we forget what this time brings. Gifts are nice, but there's another. The true great gift is we have each other. Llama Llama warm and snug gives a kiss and gets a hug. Snuggles close with Mama Llama. Happy holidays. Oh, it can be 
be hard to wait, right? Little Lana was having a hard time waiting, but some things that helped were knowing how long he had to wait and also keeping busy and getting a hug from his mama when it all became just a little bit too much. Those are things that maybe you can try next time you're having a hard time waiting. What do you think? All right, now we're gonna sing a song called Ring Those Bells. And I have some bells here, it's on a little handle. Can you tell what kind of animal my handle is shaped like? That's right, it's a pig, oink oink. What color is this pig? That's right, it's a purple pig, and it has one, two, three, three bells on it. Now, if you have any bells at home, you can go get them right now and use them for our song. If you don't have any bells, that's okay too. You can just shake your hand like you're holding bells, and you can listen to my bells. So this song is called Ring Those Bells, and we're gonna do some different actions. So we're gonna ring our bells and we're gonna turn around just once. We're not gonna twirl, just turn around one time. We're also going to ring our bells and stomp our feet. We're gonna ring our bells and clap our hands. We're going to jump up high. We're going to touch the floor and we're going to sit right down. Are you ready to ring some bells with me? All right, here we go. Ring those bells and turn around. Ring those bells and turn around. Ring those bells and turn around. Christmas time is here. All right, we're gonna stomp our feet. Ring those bells and stomp your feet. Ring those bells and stomp your feet. Ring those bells and stomp your feet. Christmas time is here. Ring those bells and clap your hands. Ring those bells and clap your hands. Ring those bells and clap your hands. Cause Christmas time is here. Ring those bells and jump up high. Ring those bells and jump up high. Ring those bells and jump up high. Cause Christmas time is here. Ring those bells and touch the floor. Ring those bells and touch the floor. Ring those bells and touch the floor. Cause Christmas time is here. All right, here's our last one. Are you ready? Ring those bells and sit right down. Ring those bells and sit right down. Ring those bells and sit right down. Cause Christmas time is here. Yay! <laughs> All right, friends, I need your help. I have my Christmas tree right here, but look, all of the ornaments have fallen off. Will you help me put them back on my Christmas tree? Great, thank you. Now, the first ornament I wanna put back on my Christmas tree is red. Can you help me find my red Christmas ornament? Let's see, is it this one? No, this ornament is purple. Is it this one? No, this ornament is blue. Is it this one? Yes, this is my red ornament. Let's put it right here. This ornament is shaped like a heart. Okay, the next ornament I want to put back on my tree is a circle. Hmm. Which one of these ornaments is shaped like a circle? Is it this one? No, this ornament is shaped like a star. Is it this one? No, this ornament is a teardrop shape. Hmm. 
Is it this one? That's right. This ornament is a circle. And what color is my circle ornament? That's right, it's orange. Let's put my circle ornament right here. Okay, the next ornament I want to put back on my tree is green. Hmm, which one of these ornaments is green? Is it this one? No, this ornament is purple. Is it this one? No, this ornament is yellow. Is it this one? That's right. This ornament is green and it is shaped like a teardrop. Okay, how many ornaments do we have left to put back on our tree? One, two, three. Three more ornaments. Let's see, the next ornament I want to put back on my tree is a bird. Which one of these ornaments is shaped like a bird? Is it this one? No, this is a pentagon. It has one, two, three, four, five sides. It's kind of shaped like a house, a pentagon. It's not shaped like a bird. What about this one? Is this ornament shaped like a bird? No, this is a star. What about this ornament? Is this ornament shaped like a bird? Yeah, it is. Look, it has two wings and a tail and a little beak and an eye. That's perfect. There goes my bird ornament. All right, the next ornament I want to put back on my tree is purple. Do you see a purple ornament? Is it this one? No, that's yellow. Is it this one? It is our purple pentagon, our little house shape. All right, we have one final ornament to put back on the tree. Do you see what it is? That's right, it is our star. And traditionally, the star goes at the very top of our Christmas tree. And what color is our star? That's right, it's yellow. So we have a yellow star, a blue bird, an orange circle, a purple pentagon, a red heart, and a green teardrop. All of my ornaments are back on my tree. Thanks for your help, friends. It looks beautiful. Our last book today is called Bear Stays Out for Christmas, and it's written by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. So this is the story of Bear Staying Up for Christmas. Now during the winter, what do bears usually do? That's right, they hibernate or they sleep. When it's cold out, they find a cave and they curl up and they sleep for the winter. So that is exactly what Bear is doing. Let's find out how he celebrates Christmas. The day before Christmas, snuggled on his floor, Bear sleeps soundly with a great big snore. Dear Bear, get up, Mouse shouts in his ear. We won't let you sleep through Christmas this year. His friends are all there, gathered in his lair, and the bear wakes up. He stands with a stretch. Can you give a big stretch like you've just woken up? Yeah, just like that. He stands with a stretch and a great big sigh. <sighs> I hope I can make it. I do want to try. So he's woken up, but he's still pretty sleepy. Don't worry, squeaks Mouse. 
hare says, it's all right. We'll keep you busy all day and all night. He tries to lie down, but his friends all frown. Can you make a frown? So the bear stays up. Come on, says Badger. Time to follow me. In Pine Grove Glen, there's a fine Christmas tree. So they stomp through the woods and they tromp down the track and they hoist up the tree onto Bear's big back. They're pretty lucky to have him to help with that Christmas tree, don't you think? He plods very slow as they trudge through the snow, but the bear stays. Back at the cave, Gopher brews mint tea, and Mole pops corn to string upon the tree. Have you ever done that? Have you ever taken popcorn and a needle and thread and made your own popcorn garland? It's pretty fun. Sometimes people add dried cranberries or other things to them too. Raven and Wren bake a fresh fruit cake. The friends do their best to keep Bear awake. His shoulders start to stoop and his eyelids droop, but the bear stays up. Oh no, he's starting to fall asleep while he's holding the Christmas tree. Quick! They hang up their stockings by warm firelight and hum Christmas songs like Oh Holy Night. Do you know that song? Oh, holy night. Yeah, I don't know that that's a good one to sing if you're trying to keep somebody awake, though. Kind of sounds like a lullaby to me. They cuddle and sing as they wait for the sun. But soon all the voices fade to just one. A bright star glows while his good friends doze. The bear stays up. So look, all his friends are falling asleep. Oh, this book is making me want to yawn. <laughs> all his friends have fallen asleep, but now only Bear is awake. He's the only one awake. So Bear giggles and grins. He works and he raps. He bustles and bakes while everyone naps. He piles up presents under the tree. But who's at the doorway? Bear doesn't see. Who's at the doorway? It's Santa. He toils all night until the sun rises, making his friends their Christmas surprises. Just before dawn, he lets out a yawn. <sighs> but he still stays up. So he didn't see Santa. Do you think Santa brought some presents for Bear and his friends? Maybe. When Christmas arrives, it's so lovely and white, Bear's friends awake to a glorious sight. Presents and goodies are piled up tall. I stayed up, said Bear, just to share with you all. Oh, look, they have their, their fruit cake and some cookies and popcorn and oranges and presents. Yeah. As his friends shout with glee, Bear lies by the tree, but he still stays up. Oh, I'm ready for a nap after this book. <laughs> Wren flies to the stockings and tweets out a cheer. Besides our bear's presents, Santa was here. When all gifts are opened, there's one last surprise. Badger shows Bear a quilt just his size. Oh, that looks cozy. Bear snuggles up tight and mutters, Good night. <sighs> then Bear falls asleep. His friends tidy up and slip from the lair, they whisper, sweet dreams, Merry Christmas, dear bear. The end. Oh, what a 
a great book about friends coming together to celebrate Christmas and share gifts. And that quilt looked very cozy. I think I'm ready for a nap too. All right, friends, that's the end of our story time. But before we sing our goodbye song, we want to say a special thank you to the Solon Public Library Foundation for sponsoring these story times this month. The Solon Public Library Foundation supports programs like this and also big building plans for the library in the future. So we are very lucky to have their support. But now it's time to say goodbye. We read a book and we played a game and we sang a song together. We read a book and we played a game. We had a fun adventure. Now go.